Welcome to part two of five things that I think you must know on your beginner journey to creating amazing videos. These are the ones I wished I had known right when I started. Here we go. The first one is learning how to render. If you're new to Premiere Pro and you don't even know what I mean by rendering, then this tip is definitely for you. If you've been using Premiere Pro even a little bit, you'll no doubt have seen these render bars above your video clips. Adding any sort of effects to your clip will cause the need for Premiere Pro to render a preview, especially if you have a less powerful PC or a laptop. Laptop. To avoid choppy playback, simply render out the individual clip that is causing your computer to struggle. Select the clip with the red bars over it and hit enter. Premiere will now render all the effects for that specific clip so it will play back automatically. Alternatively, you can go to sequence and then render selection. If you have multiple clips needing rendering, you can also choose render in to out in the same menu or you can go back to your timeline, make sure no clip is selected and hit enter. This causes Premiere to render previews for anything inside your in and out points. That's your first render done. The second thing that is crucial to know is how to animate text. In the previous video, we looked at how to add text, but you can add a lot more professionalism simply by adding some animation, and it only takes a few clicks. Select the text clip on your timeline, go to effect controls, and twirl down the text properties. Scroll down the position settings under transform, and then find the point on your timeline where you want the animation to start. Use the position slider to move the text completely off screen. Click the stopwatch next to position to create a keyframe for the start of the animation. Next, find the point on your timeline where you want the animation to finish. Use the position slider to move the text to the middle of the screen. Premiere will automatically create a keyframe for this action. For a more natural look, highlight the second keyframe, right click on it, go to temporal interpolation, and select continuous bezier. Twirl down the position settings and with your keyframe still selected, grab this little handle and drag it all the way down and over to the left. What this does is create a speed ramp to give your text more natural motion. Congrats on your first text animation. The third must know is how to split screen. You might have a moment in a video where you need to have two, three, or multiple things showing at once. This is an easy trick to do in Premiere. Let me show you how it's done. Add two video clips to your timeline. Make sure they're stacked on top of each other. Select the top clip and go to Effect Controls. Drag the position slider to move the clip to the right. Go to the Effects panel and search for Crop. Drag the effect onto the top clip. Go to Effect Controls and alter the left setting to be at 50%. Select the bottom clip, go to effect controls and adjust the position slider to frame the subject to your liking. The same method also works with more than two videos stacked. If you can't see effect controls, simply go to window, effect controls. If you're ever missing a window, this is the place to find it and activate it. Another super crucial one is removing green screen in Premiere. You might have a client or a friend who shot some green screen footage and they want your help to remove the green and add in a background. In about 30 seconds, you'll know how to do that. Drop your green screen clip and your background clip into your timeline. Make sure your green screen clip is sitting on top of your background clip. Go to the effects panel and search for ultra key. Drop the effect onto your clip. Go to Effect Controls, scroll down to Ultra Key, and click the color dropper next to Key Color. Click anywhere in the green portion of your clip. As long as the green screen and the subject are well lit, it'll be that easy. Last but not least is how to add transitions into a video. Transitions are a surefire way to add pace and energy to an edit and to make your videos more engaging. Have the clips you want to transition between ready in your timeline. Make sure that you've cut your clips since transitions don't work if your clips haven't been trimmed yet. If you see these earmarks, it means they're the start and end of your clips. Trim the clips to your liking. Go over to the effects panel and twirl down the video transitions folder. Remember, if you can't see this, go to window and then effects to activate it. Choose the effect you want and drag it onto the intersection of your clips. You can also add audio transitions by selecting a transition from the audio transitions folder and dropping it onto the intersection of your audio clips. Okay, there is one more thing you should know about transitions and this is big. And when you learn this, it will take your videos to the next level. So consider this a bonus tip. There are an insane amount of transitions that you could learn to make, but it will take you a lot of time to learn them all. So my recommendation is to use a template. I'm not sure if you noticed this, but I use different transitions in this video, like here, here, and here. And instead of taking hours to learn how to make them and hours creating them myself, I spent all of 10 minutes adding them in because I used a Premiere Pro template, specifically motion graphic templates, otherwise known as Mogarts. Motion graphics templates are effects and graphic templates created in After Effects or Premiere Pro, which are then packaged into a file with a .mogrt extension. Templates are basically a cheat code to making great videos. 
In detail, a template is a pre-made effect or project file that allows you to instantly add amazing visual effects to your videos. Templates are built by professional editors and VFX artists who use their years of design and video skills to create visual effects packs, amongst other things, that take hours, days, and even months to make but you can use them in minutes. Let me show you how it works. The templates live in the Essential Graphics panel, which you can find easily by going over to the Graphics workspace, or in whatever workspace you're in, just go to Window and then Essential Graphics. Premiere Pro has some basic pre-made ones you can use, but we've got this awesome newly downloaded one that I really wanna try. It's important to note that each separate title has its own mogger, so there might be a title pack that has multiple titles in it and you have to import each one separately. I looked through to find the one that I like and want to use, which is Main Ultra Chaos Glitch Title 9. Go down to the bottom right, click this window with the little plus, and locate the file you downloaded, and hit open. Scrolling through to find your template is endless, so I usually just favorite the new template so I can find them easier, but you can also search for them by name. Locate your newly imported template, click on it, and hold down your mouse, and then literally drag it anywhere in your project. Premiere Pro then loads the mogger, this usually takes a little bit longer on your first install. And that's it, easy as pie. Depending on the creator and what options and controls they made available for you, you'll see different options here. And voila, you have taken someone else's skills and experience and applied it to your project to create an amazing effect. You can use this to make great videos for yourself or get paid to make videos for others. One thing you should know though is that templates aren't free. Well, the really, really good ones aren't. So I recommend signing up for our channel sponsor, Envato Elements. Elements gives you unlimited access to amazing creative assets created by the best editors and VFX artists in the world. Simply download a template, upload it to Premiere, and customize it to fit your video. Just sign up below by clicking the link in the description and you'll get your first month for only $9. Well, that's it. I hope that helps you. And as Josh always says, thanks so much for watching guys. And as always, remember to keep it chill.